Oh, what's up, guys? So, I found this script online called Clip to Festival. And if you go in here, like, what it is, is it's this script that will actually, like, read things out, like, before. So, I, before I was using Festival and Pipe and Xelect to actually, like, read things out for text to speech. Because I've talked about it before, but I have intermittent extropia, so sometimes that causes problems with reading. Um, anyways, um, I found this new solution. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to kill the actual festival process because I've done this kill all festival before But then I found out someone figured out you could do kill all festival kill all a play sleep for 0.1 seconds And then do kill all a play and it'll actually kill all the processes Affiliated with spawning this thing. So that's that's really nice, but it holistically like what this program does right here is P grab uh, grabs the process ID of festival if you don't know bash that well, this does command substitution. So what that does is once it grabs the process ID, it throws it in the shell variable called running. Then it checks whether um, running exists or not. So in reality, what that means is, is festival going on right now? If it is going on right now, kill it. If, it, if it's not going on, on right now, I assume that you actually want me to read something out. So then I'm going to read it. So if I go like this... I'm going to choose something else just because I have this little hotkey thing. So you can see I mapped my short key. Um, but I'll look for uh, the actual like um, shortcut. So if I go on the keyboard, script reads the information. you'll see that shortcuts is right here. And then if I go to custom shortcuts, you'll see I have all the X selected for wherever I put the program. So make sure it's executable and then throw it in this directory or any directory you want, for that matter. It can be on your path, then you can just type the the name of the program. Mine's not in my path. Mine is just fully written out like a whole qualified path name. So home, Jesse, programs, text-to-speech, and then clip to festivalsh So this is that script, and I can get it to read out to me, and I'll press Alt-X. Slash home, slash Jesse, slash yeah, if I press Alt-X again, It'll stop it, see? Like right when I pressed Alt X, and this is way better than it was before. Um, since it's festive, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Firefox. And then slash I'm home slash Jesse slash programs. And then I'll just go on the Wikipedia page, read that out, and show how how it works. So now that I showed you how the script works, how to set up the shortcut, I'm gonna actually use it. Well, I guess this will be a second time, but. Christmas or Christmas Day Old English. C R S T S M S S E. Meaning Christ's Mass is an annual festival. So, you can see it's reading. Now I can press Alt X again, and then I'll kill it. So, this is uh, a lot better than Christmas what was previously Christmas there. Day Old um, English. If you want this CRSTSMSSE, meaning Christ's Mass is an annual festival commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. It's not that much code. There's just a shell variable, uh, an if the else statement, and then two lines to kill and start it. So it's a pretty simple script, but it's pretty nice to have. Um, anyways, um, peace out, guys.